Butraskaya with her short program which is uh, entitled Egyptian Dance rotation in contention Russia have got a very disappointing record in these world championships they've never won the gold they've been so close all the time in fact not in recent years they haven't been that close but uh, obviously with Irina Slutskaya they had high hopes and now here with Butraskaya she's going to be right up there in the top four or five Choreography, as always, was outstanding. And this was the crucial moment. If you watch the landing of the first jump, you'll see it was about a quarter of a turn short, I think. Made it difficult for her. Oh, in fact, it was clean. You could see the way the ankle went over. I thought that was because there wasn't quite the rotation there, but it was fully rotated. She just uh, dropped the ankle slightly, which caused that wobble between the Lutz and the double toe. She is inconsistent, though, to... Uh results which affect that in america skate america 10th but she won nhk trophy at her best she's a threat to anyone and this was her best here we will really see how the judges are going to mark this she'll be in the top three for sure is it good enough to upset lipinski perhaps on the second mark just might edge her in front first mark maybe not the presentation of the program was brilliant the triple loop was good does tend to be a little bit stiff in the landing knee on the jump sometimes which uh, just reduces the amount of flow there's the double axe we see and over the toe just looks a little uncomfortable sometimes coming out of the jumps wonderful hand gestures and once that out axle was out of the way she really let go turned on all the charm Good to see a grown woman right up there. 
maturity that she brings to her performance. Elena Sakaskaya is her trainer. Well, they put her in third place. I think 5-4 for the Polish judge for presentation takes some believing. But it's uh, very close. I think she'll be disappointed with the marks, and I think she has every right to be so. Some 